Hey folks, we're here at San Diego Comic-Con. It's still preview night, it's around 7.30, and Jill Thompson is gonna take time to talk to us. Jill, thank you so much, yay! Hey man, how you doing? What, what are you working on right now? Right now, I'm working on a commission that I forgot to get done. And you weren't supposed <laughs> to talk about that tonight because you said it was a year later and we were supposed to keep that quiet, but... Yes, I, it's been drawn for a long time. It just hasn't been painted. <laughs> Well, you just got done doing Beast of Bird not too long ago, yep. and you did some Hellboy work, but Scary Godmother is basically where most of us old schoolers remember, you know, in terms of back in the day. Or from TV. If a lot of people, because I have that banner out there now, and it's pretty amazing. I've been kicking myself that I just had it made, and I used to have a banner that just had me on it, because I was like, I want people to know about my art. And it was a Jill Thompson art banner. But now that I've got that banner, I have, there's people like, they'll be far away and they'll see Scary Godmother and little kids will go, oh, Scary Godmother! And they'll never have known it's a comic book or a book that started out. And that's really why, you know, it's like, I want everyone to know where it came from because I want to make more books. Right. Um, but they know it from Cartoon Network. And um, so it's like, oh, I should have done that a long time ago because that's my recognizable character that's been on television. <laughs> so what's, what, in terms of doing like, projects for TV like how did you find out that you wanted to take a different angle with the character like there were some things you'd rather stress as opposed to maybe a different direction for a storyline or well um, what you saw for scary godmother uh, the first scary godmother special was uh, we had adapted scary godmother to the stage and we did a stage play in Chicago we did 26 performances at the Athenaeum theater it was uh, me and a small theater company called run amok productions and uh, their director uh, Heath Corson and I sat down and wrote a play uh, based on the, the first Scary Godmother story and some of the other stuff that had happened so we could you know, add little bits to it and made one hour children's play. And it was fantastic. It went over huge. And Scary Godmother had been optioned by the time at Mainframe, by the time um, it, it was Mainframe Entertainment, now it's been bought out, it's called something else. Uh, and they had optioned it much earlier than that and nothing had happened with it and eventually we sent them our play and we said you've been looking to do something for TV we did a very successful one hour play for right. you know we should make a show we should just make a holiday special and they decided that was a good idea and hired us to uh, adapt our play into t an hour of television because it's a lot less than an hour of actual time so. Have you thought about merchandising as far as the character goes? I am working on that. You're working on that? I just recently, I have all my rights back for everything, for books, for TV, for merchandise. And um, before it was kind of all tied up with, if I was with a publisher, you know, they had certain rights. And all the merchandise I suggested making, like plush bugaboo or scary godmother fashion doll, uh, is very expensive to do and the reason I know this is because I am going to be doing some of it uh, and nothing ever happened so now that I have everything back I've taken kind of the initiative to I've, I'm getting a, a, a well right now I have a prototype sculpted and the clothes are being made and we're going to be sending it off uh, to see how much it'll cost to have that made and when uh, when I have when things back, work out in a perfect world, right? Well, that that will be my Kickstarter. <laughs> right. Okay. And there it's going to be really awesome. She's this is a fantastic sculpt, and it's totally posable. Every it's going to be the most articulated. Therefore, probably a pretty expensive right. doll. Because um, nothing's cheap, right? Chose uh, her hair mixture, like all the color for her hair, and the, it's it's really it's so exciting. And if that really works out, I really want Kickstarter to to be what it sounds like to kickstart a new business for me because I will still be drawing comics and still be making Scary Godmother books and painting comics, but I will have this other stuff come out. And We're going to make sure we get this. Oh, I have a big book of all the stuff that I wished that was made that I'm going to get made. So. We're going to make sure that we promote this for you. I've not talked about this anywhere I'm going to say, we're getting exclusive here. Our Previous our world has dibs on this, all right? I keep my mouth shut until I actually had the doll to show, and I was hoping that I would have it here, but it's not. there's stuff that's not done yet, and I didn't want to show in progress. I wanted to show you what you would get. When you are ready to get that bad boy off the ground, you give us a call. Okay? Is that a deal? This booth next year will be just like chock full of dolls. All right, there you go. And that big guy walking around in a bugaboo costume, and it'll be all like pro looking. And the people are like, Mattel, we don't need that Barbie doll. Right. We want a scary godmother doll because she's awesome. That's it.
and you'll hear about it soon coming to a theater near you. Folks, keep the faith, keep reading comics. Bye.